everybody welcome back if you're new here hi i'm mercury welcome to my channel so today just a little walk and talk nothing special no big plans i had work today but it's it's gorgeous out even though it's after dinner time i i didn't want to stay inside i wanted to to come out and enjoy it we're like having a beginning of like a warm spell coming through i guess you would call it and it was like 40 degrees two days ago and it was 80 degrees today 80 degrees uh, i actually have a tank top on under this sweatshirt and i i may have to take my sweatshirt off because i am that warm and it's like seven o'clock at night it's amazing it's amazing so we're gonna we're gonna just wander and walk and talk and chat and uh see what's going on yeah yeah the sweatshirt had to come off um, the sun is going down. It's not quite down yet, but it did hit the horizon. But I'm sure once it starts to get darker, the temperature is going to drop. But for now, I don't even need a hoodie. It is that glorious out. I'm so looking forward to this nice weather. I'm so glad it's here. So that being said, so what are we up to? What are we, what are we going to walk and talk about? What's going on? So I've been, I've been home for a little bit. Um, vacation's over. It's just kind of strange to me because I've been posting the videos and they're, you know, they were still going up after I've been home. So I know for everybody else, it feels like I just got back. I've actually been home for about a month um, and getting back into the swing of things. But because I've been home for so long, a lot's been going on. I completed physical therapy. Yay! That's gonna, ooh, a bench. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna sit on this bench. So, yeah, I completed physical therapy, so that's fantastic. They gave me exercises that I'm supposed to continue to do on my own. Um, a lot of like leg and lower back and ab work and stuff to keep me strong and protect my back. So I have a follow-up with my spinal doctor next week, so hopefully I get some good news. I also want to try to get some clearance to go back on my silks and start doing silks again because I miss doing that. So I took my rig down before I injured my back and then like a week and a half, two weeks after I took it down, I hurt my back. So it, it's been down for months and I would love to put it back up and you know get back on it and get back to work on it. But I need clearance from my doctor to do it and I hope I really hope I'm allowed to. I don't know the extent of the damage on my back and what long-term repercussions it's gonna have. So I will find out on Tuesday. Um, I have my doctor's appointment on Tuesday and I will find out more information then. But for now, I'm sticking with the exercises the physical therapist gave me. So besides physical therapy, Mercury, how you been spending your time? Well, um, not gonna lie, um, watching, some streaming stuff, um, editing the videos that just recently went up, and um, work. I've been working late a lot, so it's it's been tough. But yeah, I have been streaming a lot of stuff, and I'm watching Picard. Is anybody else watching Picard? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's just so much nostalgia, and it's like hitting me in the feels so much. It's just like right, right, right there. It just all the nostalgias. It's so great. It's so great. Um, yeah, like the last one I watched was the episode where they were trying to decide, do they drop the partition within Data's positronic brain that was separating Data from Lore? And do they take that chance and do they hope that data can overcome lore or, you know, see what, what lore will do. And lore is like the Loki of Star Trek in some ways. I don't know, lore or Q? Who do you think? If Loki was in Star Trek, would it be lore or would it be Q? I'm on the fence. They are both very mischievous and kings of chaos. Um, but let me know what you think. So I don't know what, uh, what lore is up to, what data is gonna do. But but yeah, so the the episode where they decide whether or not to drop the partition between data and lore. Oh my gosh, my friends. Oh my gosh. When he pulled out 
the hollow cube that had Tasha Yar's hollow image in it. Oh my gosh. And then right after it picks up Spot and says that Spot is the best of him. And knowing how Spot like helped tie him to humanity. Oh my gosh, that that just like that that just yeah. I have no words. I have no words. It was just so well written for the fans. It was well written for people who love Next Gen and love the show and you know it it felt like it was written for us. And I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. So I think there's two episodes left, if I'm not mistaken. I think I don't think this week's I don't think this week's is the season finale. I think there's one more and then the finale. I don't want it to end. Uh, to quote some Doctor Who, I, I don't want to go. I don't want it to be over. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. But also, like, I like the new stuff too. Like, I'm waiting for Discovery to come back and for, um, oh, why is my brain blanking? What it, the, the Pike show, what it, what it, not, what is the Pike show called, everybody? I'm blanking. Strange New World, Brave New World. I don't know. I. Oh my gosh, my brain, it can't, it, it's turned into jelly. It's turned into jelly. Um, I'm just gonna call it the Pike show. I want the Pike show to come back. And I want Discovery to come back. And yeah, they're, they're both great shows and I really enjoy watching them. And I, you know, with, with the Pike show, it's like, even though it's a prequel and you know eventually Kirk is gonna get the Enterprise, I still want to see what's happening. I still want to see that journey that Pike went on that led, you know, well, the, Pike's injury, right? Like I want I want that backstory and that's what this has all been building to. So I want to I want to hear it. I can't wait for that to come back. And then Discovery um the way that left off, you know, it just it leaves you wanting more. It really does. Also, speaking of Loki, I know I'm going backwards. I'm going back to what I said about Picard and Q and Lore. And, but Loki, are, are we getting another season of Loki? Is, I, I, I thought we were getting another season of Loki. What, what's going on? When's that coming out? Does anybody know? Um, I would like to know when I will have more Loki on Disney+. Plus. So if you know the answer to that, please let me know. Um, I would like to plan accordingly. So I've been watching that. I also watched, um, oh, what was it called? The Werewolf Show on Paramount Plus with Sarah Michelle Gellar. I don't remember what it was called. Um, but it was like, it was, it was good. It wasn't, it wasn't great, but it was good. It was entertaining. It, it definitely, you know, it was written for, I'd say, an audience of, say, people who are currently in high school or in college, like that age bracket definitely who it was written for um but I I found it entertaining um a bit predictable I definitely found it predictable but it didn't lower the entertainment value and of course I've also been watching Mandalorian so the last episode that aired was the episode with Jack Black and Lizzo and Christopher Lloyd yeah that was that was a great episode that that episode was like the Thor movies of the Avengers series. Uh, that that was the Thor episode of The Mandalorian, meaning it was the comic relief. Um, so The Mandalorian's been taking itself quite seriously for a while, and this episode was very lighthearted and just kind of broke up that that seriousness, that heaviness, that weight that's been going on in, in that series. And you know what? I was here for it. <laughs> it was great. It was so much fun. I, I, had, I had a ball with it. So that is what I have been up to lately, uh, watching some good shows and just trying to decompress. Like watching shows like that, that's, that's my self-care. That's what I do to 
sort of escape a little bit and just be able to let my my brain go to some fun places so that's what that's that's what I've been doing lately so sun is uh sun's getting real low my friends gotta sing my lullaby I think with that it's time to head home the little the little flies are coming out I'm starting to get bit I don't want no bug bites they're gonna be itchy and uncomfortable I'm gonna go home and get some rest so for now have a good night we'll see everybody real soon and until then stay inspired by everyone Take care.